Hello, my name is Adam Singer and I'm a diagnostic radiologist from Atlanta, Georgia, and today I'm going to be showing a case of a sagittal band injury. To begin, this video and all the videos on my channel are for educational purposes only and should not be used to guide medical decision making. If you have a medical condition or problem, please consult your provider and make decisions based on that discussion and not anything on this channel. All right, so we're going to begin with the axial proton density fat side image here on this side and the corresponding sagittal proton density fat side image on this side. Uh, you can see the cross reference here. So we are at about the level of the dorsal aspect of the metacarpal head. This is the third digit. This is actually the affected digit for this patient. Uh, I don't have a full clinical history in terms of the mechanism of injury to this patient, um, but there was some sort of injury that happened while uh, she was either going to the hospital or while she was hospitalized. Um, right away, if you look at this sagittal image, you can see that there's significant soft tissue thickening along the uh, dorsal aspect of the uh, MCP joint here. So this was uh, acquired in the standard full extension of the digits in uh, wrist, um, which is what we typically do, especially uh, when we're trying to get high resolution good images um, using a, a coil um, that typically does not allow for significant motion of the digits. Um, and in this position, you will expect to see the extensor tendon sitting um, on the central dorsal aspect of the metacarpal heads, um, uh, and this is normal. They are usually held in place by the sagittal bands at this level. There's a radial sagittal band and an ulnar sagittal band, um, and this is just a part of the extensor apparatus uh, stabilization material. Um, they should be thin and hypo-intense, and you can see the second digit, the unaffected one, looking pretty normal. The fourth digit as well, you see it sitting central and dorsal with the intact sagittal bands, the same thing for the fifth. And then you come over to the affected digit, the third digit, and you can see already, even in full extension, this extensor tendon is sublux from its expected central position. And then there's uh, mark thickening of the sagittal band, and then it becomes uh, considerably attenuated uh, at, at certain parts as well. So this is already pretty suggestive of a sagittal band injury. And so uh, one way we can really accentuate the um, instability is by having the patient flex their digits. And sometimes this is apparent on uh, dynamic ultrasound or even clinical exam. Um, and if you're able to do it for uh, MRI, uh, it is also uh, usually gonna be apparent. And here we see an axial proton density fat suppressed uh, image uh, with the patient flex. You can see their digits wrapped around there making a fist. Here's their thumb, the second, third, fourth, and fifth digits. Um, and if you look at the fourth digit here, you can see that this extensor tendon, despite being in uh, finger flexion, um, is still sitting dorsal and central, as you would expect. And you can see it coming down this way. The second, a little bit uh, subluxed over, kind of hard to see, um, but uh, this was actually intact, and this is probably within the range of normal movement. Um, but the third, the affected one, uh, completely dislocates off the central uh, metacarpal and down into the uh, intermetacarpal gully in an ulnar direction. The radial sagittal band uh, is uh, completely disrupted and discontinuous here. So um, this is the typical appearance of a sagittal band injury on MRI, which is accentuated by finger flexion. Uh, the patient did go to surgery because they were symptomatic from this. They were having a lot of pain. Uh, and at surgery, a complete radial sagittal band rupture was confirmed uh, and the sagittal band was reconstructed. The patient returned to clinic uh, several months after the surgery and their symptoms had completely resolved. Their pain was down to zero and they uh, were significantly improved and happy with their outcome. All right, so uh, this was a sagittal band uh, injury um, on MRI uh, with semi-dynamic uh, imaging because you have two different um, positions for the digits. Um, if you like this video, please put a like down below. And if you have any thoughts or comments about this video or if there are other topics you'd like me to discuss, uh, please put those in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get updates when new videos come online. All right, well, thank you so much for your time and watching this video, and I'll see you next time.